It wasn't the first time Spot the Dog had celebrated his birthday on stage, but for many of the children in the audience, it was a first time in the theatre. Some children with autism find music or sounds and lighting overstimulating. Also, some children who have autism verbalise, so they might have a verbal tick or they might make noises. All of the children were made welcome at the playhouse. While the lighting and sound effects were softened, the emphasis was on having fun. You're free to wander around and, and move around however you like, and um, there's no kind of lid that you have to keep on any responses that you want to make, any any sounds, uh, you know, if you're enjoying it, you're free to kind of enjoy it. The Playhouse is one of ten theatres piloting what are described as relaxed performances. It may not be conventional theatre, but that was part of the appeal. So the children could bring in snacks that they liked, they could get up and move around. It was less busy, or whether it would always would be in a relaxed performance, I'm not sure, but it meant there was space for the children to move around. Amy's got very little vision, so she enjoys all the music and what's going on on the, on the noise side, but to meet them afterwards just brings it a bit more alive for her. Later this year, the Prince's Foundation and other groups will decide whether to put on more shows like this. It wasn't hard to spot some children who would definitely come back. Jeremy Stone, BBC South Today.